Congratulations, you've just joined the United Nations. By most metrics, you're now a country. I'm Greg Hunter. Welcome to the USA Watchdog YouTube channel. It supports usawatchdog.com. I'm a former investigative correspondent. I worked on ABC's Good Morning America and also on CNN on many of their platforms. I try to put out interviews and information that is above all accurate. As my slogan on the website says, I try to give you a clear picture of what's really going on. I hope you enjoy the channel and I hope you subscribe. Thanks again. I'm Greg Hunter. I'm Greg Hunter. Welcome to USAWatchdog.com. With us, uh, somebody we haven't had on for a while. He's out with a new book. It's a it's a novel, actually. Uh, it's called Speculator, and you have given him away right now. It's John Casey, written with his uh, his uh, co-author John Hunt. Speculator. It's a it's a novel. Uh, we'll we're we'll gonna talk about that in just a minute. Of course, we're talking about Doug Casey. Doug Casey, of course, of famed uh, uh, Casey Research. You're a best-selling author with your crisis investing in the late '70s and early '80s. Doug Casey, thanks for joining us today on USAWatchdog.com. Well, Greg, it is nice to be back here with you. I want to, before we talk about your book, your your, your novel, uh, which we'll get to a little later, I, a lot of people are sitting here like me going, what's he going to say about what's going on right now? We've had the debt ceiling just pass. We've had the Fed raise interest rates and obviously a slow economy. It's less than growing at less than 1%. We got a big battles in, in, in Washington, D.C., uh, a lot of shaky stuff. Some of the big money managers are saying there's a, you know, doom, Mark, uh, Mark Bobber, uh, gloom, doom, and boom is saying we're in for a 50% cut in the stock market. What is, give me your appraisal about what is going on in the stock market with your big picture worldview. We take this business of waking people up very seriously here at Infowars. And, and gold and silver, what do you what do you think uh, th that that the prices will go, or will it be immaterial as the dollar may va vaporize? I don't know. Is there a dollar price on gold and silver that you think it's going to go to? Is the dollar going to cease to exist? Uh, can you just talk about because they they're so intertwined? Gold, silver, precious metals, paper money. Uh, what's going to happen with the dollar and gold and silver in relationship to one another? Uh. Well, that is the $64 question, but they're going to both go up because I'll say this again. They're gold, the only gold, gold and silver, gold and silver. Yeah, they're the only gold and silver are the only financial assets that are not simultaneously somebody else's liability. So there's going to be a panic into them at some point, some point soon, I think. And in terms of what, what price would I put a, a figure on? Look, you've got to look at these things in terms of today's dollars, because 10 years from now, I don't even know if the dollar is going to exist. Um, but um, I think the gold in the within the next five years in real terms is going to triple or quadruple or quintuple. And silver is going to go up by more than that. It'll go up five to 10 times. And hopefully they'll turn into bubbles. There will be a gold and silver bubble in the future. And that'll be wonderful for people that own it now. Uh, that'll be the last bubble. Is that right? Is that the last bubble? Gold and silver, the last bubble available? Yeah, because they're creating bubbles and all kinds of things by creating trillions of new units of funny money. And it's not just the Americans that are doing this. The Europeans, the Japanese, the Chinese, they're all doing the same thing. So this is going to end badly on a worldwide basis. And... Uh, I don't know if uh, you know this is reasonable for most of our listeners right now, but your biggest danger is actually political. Therefore, you should be diversified politically. You shouldn't have all of your eggs in one political basket. You've got to try to, if you're in a position to, diversify some assets outside of the U.S. also. All right, I don't know how many people can do that, but I want to move on to your book. I'm holding it up right now. I'm going to go to a tight shot of myself here. Oh, that's you. Let's go back to me. There you go. Doug Casey, John Hunt, Speculator. It's a novel. And let me just uh, read uh, this, the first part of it. It is about a uh, the greatest gold discovery uh, in history. It draws uh, a young Charles Knight to West Africa, uh, where he unearths deception, violence, 
and romance. Can you, Doug Casey, just talk about why did you do a novel like this? Oh, it's in the first in the series of of the high ground novels. There's even a website uh, uh, for this. Uh, this is a real departure for you as a best-selling author. Why uh, this book? Why Speculator? And 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 tell me about it. Uh, Greg, because you can say things in fiction that you cannot say in nonfiction. Uh, and I think that's important. So this book is, it, it's a great novel from a reading point of view, but it's very instructional on how the markets work, uh, about the background of gold, gold mining, frauds, speculation, and even revolutions in Africa. And I've got to say that if I was 30 again and wanted to make my way in the world, I would go to Africa. That's where the action is going to be. Uh, anybody that wants to make serious money as an entrepreneur should look at Africa because it's an on-level playing field where you're on the high side of the on-level playing field. You can bring, you've got experiences, you've got capital, you've got connections that the people over there don't have. And if you can bring those things there, you can make a lot of money in Africa and have a lot of fun. So that's also what this novel is about. Uh, Doug Casey, thanks for coming on. Uh, here is the book again. We'll put links up for it for you YouTube people. You just go to the right through and it'll take you back to the USA Watch. So look for it in the after the interview section. Uh, there's a website and the website is, uh, it is highgroundnovels.com. Is that right? highgroundnovels.com. And the other thing that people ought to look at is internationalman.com. Uh, it's a free daily blog. And also, you also write a lot for uh, Casey Research as well. I'll put all that stuff, which is, you know, your namesake, Casey Research. I'll put all that stuff up. Uh, your, your book just came out recently. Again, it is uh, Doug Casey and John Hunt, uh, Speculator, the first in the High Ground series. I hope they make some movies out of it or a TV show. Doug Casey, I uh, really appreciate you coming on today. Thank you for uh, joining us today on USAWatchdog.com. A very interesting uh, perspective. Thank you for sharing it with us uh, today. Greg, my pleasure. Thank you. To Adam. Congratulations, you've just joined the United Nations. By most metrics, you're now a country. Bye.